Hi guys, it's Rina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 186 on SOA exam P. So pause the video quick and try to smile yourself. <laughs> okay, so we are tempted. Let's just dive right in. So basically, a cable is normally distributed with a mean of this. So mean of 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, and a standard deviation of 25. So this is like a two-step problem, right? So first we have to figure out the probability that a cable will not break under this force one two four zero zero so that's step one so how do we do that so that's basically saying that what's the probability that x is greater than one two four zero zero right where x is like the probability that it's still okay because after one two four zero zero after this amount of force what's the probability that the cable is still working so right so that's the probability that x is greater than that number so then we can normalize this sucker out right here probability of x minus mean over standard deviation is greater than one two four zero zero minus one two four thirty two divided by standard deviation we know this is the definition of z z is greater than negative one point two eight so the probability that the cable will not break under the pressure is, let me get my z table. So we're looking for the probability that z is greater than this negative 1.28. So this part right here. And because on the exam they're going to give you a positive one, we have to just look at 1.28 and look at the CDF. The CDF of this and the probability we're looking for is exactly the same. So we can just use directly that, 1.28. 1.28 is approximately like 0.9, right? like approximately 90%. So now, step two is to find the probability that out of 400 cables, um, 349 of them will not break, right? And we know the probability of not breaking is equal to 0.9 so that means we can actually say the standard deviation is or the variance is equal to n times p times q because this is a binomial distribution it can either break or not break so n is 400 p is on um, 0.9 q is 0.1 so this is equal to 36 so then standard deviation is just square root of 36 which is equal to 6 and we also need the mean so the mean is just equal to n times um, probability, where the probability is 0.1, I mean 0.9. So this is equal to 360. All right, so then we can actually figure out the probability that out of 400, what's the probability that um, x is 349 or greater, right? At least 349. So because this is a discrete variable, meaning we can't have like 0.6 of a cable, you have to have a whole number we have to actually do a continuity correction. And if you guys are not sure about continuity correction, I made a whole video about it, so make sure you check it out. So I'll do a little summary here. If it's like 349 here, and we're looking for greater than 349, including that part, because discrete is like, it takes a little bit bigger space, it's gonna look like this. So in if we're looking for the probability that it is greater than 349, like including 349, it's gonna include this part right here too, right? But if we just do probably that x is greater than 309, you're missing this whole chunk here, right? So it's better for us to start a little bit smaller, like probably, so we can subtract like 0.5 and start at like 348.5, right? Start If we start at 348 point, we can make sure, it can ensure that we include this part that's not counted because it's a discrete variable. I hope that kind of makes sense. But if, again, you can you guys can check out my other video about continued correction. So anyways, so then this, after the continued correction is the probability that x is greater than 348.5 to ensure that we get that little chunk that's missing because it's a discrete variable. So this is equal to, again, after we norm, we can normalize it because this is normally distributed. So x minus mean over standard deviation is greater than 348.5 minus mean, which is 360, divided by standard deviation, which is 6. Again, this is the definition of z. 
z is greater than negative 1.9166 repeating or like negative 1.92 ish so this is like a little negative number here what's the probability z is greater than this number right here well the thing is they're going to give you a positive side so positive cdf so if you look at 1.92 that probability is exactly the same again so we can just use it as is so what's the probability so what's the probability 1.92 1.92 not point nine seven two six which is a prop which is our answer d if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share bye